Hello there people, this is Bruce B. Cool or Nintendo Bruce here, back again to give you a bit more help on Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D's Decade Jewels Plus, and this time we're up against Rin and her Spellcaster deck. Now the two things to watch out for, just period, are her special summoning abilities and her effects, primarily the ones that she gets from spell counters. So if you can get those two bases covered, then that's it, you're, you're done with this, this is a walkover. I'll just cover this in a bit more detail though. Spell counter type cards. So the main ones to watch out for, she's got Magical Marionette, where if that gains two spell counters, then she can remove them and just destroy any monster on your side of the field. Lovely. Other than that, Defender the Magical Knight, where that can grab a spell counter from any of her monsters and negate the destruction of one of her spellcaster type monsters once per turn. So bear that in mind, once per turn isn't so bad, but if she's got three of these defenders out, that can be very, very annoying. Other than that, that's the main ones for spell counters. There is Breaker, the Magical Knight, and there's also Maiden of Macabre, which gains attack from spell counters. But the thing to remember here is if you run things like Book of Moon, or something similar to flip into face down defense position, then she's going to lose those spell counters that she's built up. So bear that in mind. Also, if you run a skill drain deck anyway, you're going to find this an extreme walkover because her top attack monster is 2300. So even with a normal beatdown, say, where you run 2400 tribute monsters, brilliant. That's going to just walk all over her. Now, special summoning wise, I've mentioned, she's got a magician circle. A magical Dimension, Summon a Monk, even Apprentice Magician you can say which usually brings out Old Vindictive. Old Vindictive by the way, nasty little card, when it's flipped face up it destroys one of your monsters. But yeah, other than that, notice it's all things you can usually chain to, so why not bring in those bottomless trap holes, uh, torrential tributes, anything else that can chain to it, why not? Uh, don't worry about your back row, because although she's got a few bits to destroy uh, your monsters, she doesn't have that much to get rid of your back row. So she's only got Giant Grenade, Heavy Storm and Mystical Space Typhoon. The rest, well, that's it, apart from Breaker. So four cards out of the 41 to destroy your back row. So run that support, it will help you. Other than that, special summoning wise, I'll just tell you, Magical Dimension. Uh, very tricky little card, she has to have a spellcaster type in her hand and on the field to activate it, but if she can use it, it destroys one of your monsters unfortunately. Uh, and other than that, Magician's Circle she uses, that's uh, three of her four trap cards there, where she special summons a 2000 attack monster or less from her deck, usually Magical Marionette, because that makes sense. Her only other trap card is Mirror Force, so again in terms of attacking her, there's not a lot to stop you. Mirror Force, Magical Dimension, uh, Swords of Revealing Light if you can count that as stopping you. But yeah, nothing to really counter you as a duelist. So if you prepare for her, you're going to have an easy time. Uh, so yep, think about what she could play, counter appropriately, and you're going to have a nice easy time in your turn to just go for an all out attack. Other than that, stalling cards are fine anyway because again, she doesn't have much to negate your back row. And that's about it really, so watch out for those effects and pack in those things for uh, special summoning and maybe put in those uh, Book of Moons as well. So pop your comments in the section below, let me know your thoughts, I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can and until next time, you guys take care and I will see you again soon.